talking about a event this Thursday that has uh, got a lot of big time conversations happening all throughout the day. Jennifer Beria from the Mason County EDC, as well as Dina Alley here. Good morning to you both. Thanks for having us. We are uh, talking about the EDC Expo, which is coming up at the Little Creek Casino Resort on Thursday. And there's a lot of breakout sessions that mm-hmm. we've been talking about. And that's the reason for Dina to be here. Please introduce Dina and then we'll talk about it. Well, Dina's here to talk about the Health Science Academy. Um, the theme of the event that we're having on Thursday is the future of, essentially. So what different industries are doing different things? How are they adapting to the future? How are they prepping people to be able to make those changes. Mm -hmm. And we're doing it right here at a very local level and hitting our, essentially our future workforce as as soon as we can. So she's here to talk about the academy that they've, what, spent the last two years kind of prepping and um, rolling it out. Yeah. Tell me more about this. It was a a big time uh, event and when it first kind of came uh, percolating along, we we all says, man, this is going to be a real big thing and a real exciting thing, and now we're here. So tell us we, about it. We are here. We've spent the last couple of years um, with our partners at Mason General Hospital and throughout the community putting together a health science academy where students get to, from their very first year in high school, experience what it would mean to have a health science career, and they get to do job shadows, and they have guest speakers nearly every week wow. from the healthcare industry industry. And right now we have over 300 students in some format of the Health Science Academy. So that's got to be just real heartwarming, uh, a real, this is a good working model to have that many students interested in this. It is so amazing. You know, when you build something, you're like, are students going to be interested? Uh They say they are, but are they really? And when we did enrollment that first year, we were just so excited and pleased and amazed and student interest has just continued to grow. So talk to me a little bit about uh, what each year would bring the freshmen, the sophomores, the juniors, the seniors, and how they will interact with, with the hospital and the family of clinics and all that. Right. So in their freshman year, They take um, a class called Intro to Health Careers, which is just a broad survey overview course. They have lots of guest speakers. They get a chance to go out to one of our healthcare partners, whether that's Mason General or now Capital Medical Center in Olympia has asked to be part of the project as well. Um, In their sophomore year, they continue that, but now they pick a more specific pathway in the Health Science Academy based on what their career interest is in healthcare, whether that's business or diagnostic medicine or hands-on patient care. And then in their junior year, they're going to do a job shadow. So we are very excited about that because we'll be able to expand out to all of our community health care partners. Maybe you want to be a dentist or maybe you want to be a massage therapist or something. So there's a chance for lots of wow. different community members to get involved. And then I'm very excited as we plan our capstone senior opportunities. So what would that look like? What would it look like if you worked with Bloodworks Northwest and did their phlebotomy course? What would it look like if you started your EMT training? What would it look like if you got your CNA? That is amazing. And you're going to be presenting this information at the expo on Thursday during one of the breakout sessions. Uh, to get Capital Medical Center, uh, you know, talking with you and on board, that's got to be great. And, I, and yeah. I'm sure this expo will only open up more doors to potential partnerships with you. We are very excited. This is a fantastic opportunity. If someone wasn't able to attend our kickoff event, mm-hmm. they could come to this breakout session, learn about the academy, learn about ways that they can get involved. And in general, just not limited to healthcare, learn about the academy model so that as we're planning future academies, they have a chance to know how they might want want to be involved. How did this all kind of come to the fore? I can imagine that there are conversations with uh, Dr. Apostle, the superintendent, the various folks in the uh, Shelton High School, but who first brought forth this thought that this is something that we could do, it would be successful, and uh, this is kind of the first time I'd ever heard of one of these types of models. Right. So Dr. Apostle had experience with a health science academy in his previous position in Montana. Mm. And it was really his idea to think this is something we could do locally. 
and very quickly a partnership, Mason General Hospital stepped up both with um, financial support and with support of personnel. We have a lot of their personnel who sit on our advisory committee or who are our guest speakers. And very quickly a group just came together and said, absolutely, we want to do this. And so we started researching models and the gold standard for academy models is really the academies of Nashville. They've been doing it for over a decade. Uh, they're world renowned and so we spent a lot of time studying actually taking people to that um, academy model and letting them see what was happening so that's really how this got started so health sciences is uh, uh, lots of different fields within that uh, other than the health science academy what are some other ideas of other academies coming down the line, different types mm -hmm. of uh, uh, partnerships. Right. So academies are all based on what your local and regional labor data say is your need. So the one that is going to be starting next year is actually our ninth grade academy. And that's meant to give a welcoming experience to Shelton High School. Very important as we do our grade reconfiguration that yeah. we get ninth graders off to a fast start. Um, and then if you look at our regional labor data and you look at our partner interest, certainly there's a lot of interest around the business, finance, and hospitality industries. Mm -hmm. And of course, there's a lot of interest in our natural resources. And there's a lot of interest in manufacturing, engineering, and technology. So I think those would be the other three main strands that you would see for Career Academy. These are some of the same things that we've been talking about mm -hmm. during your various uh, uh, informational gathering sessions all throughout the county when you talk to the different communities about what types of industries they find important into the county. So I'm, I'm these, these are great partnerships. It's a great partnership. And um, healthcare is a great place to start. It's a big, a big component in our local economy. Yeah. Uh, Mason General is growing and growing and growing. And it's not just limited to here. It's across the nation. We also have an aging population. So those, those um, clinics and those um, different specialties really need to come out and have more workforce to it. So hopefully it's a, it's a perfect marriage of the, the, that talent to the industry. This is just one of the many breakout sessions that uh, folks will be able to participate in on Thursday. Uh, how do they get involved if they want to go to this all throughout the day? Um, you just have to register. Okay. <laughs> Nice. It's it's that easy. Go to our website. Um, there's also, uh, I believe it's regionalexpo.com is the main one. We link to it. So um, we're happy to have you, happy to be there. Great keynote speakers, good breakout sessions. So. For sure. Looking at the f future of not only Mason County and the EDC, but the other uh, four county EDCs around our area uh, work up with that. Well, that is going to be a very exciting conversation. And I know a lot of folks have really shown a ton of interest in this Health Science Academy and Shelton High School continuing moving forward, pushing right. forward with uh, great new goals. Leading, leading the pack. Yeah, we're very excited. <laughs> and thank you again for having us.